Hello, good morning everyone. We are Alejandra Villarreal, Rafael Ortiz, Arturo del Bosque, and me, Gerardo Fuentes. And today, we will analyze using Panofsky's method a painting from the post-impressionist era, painted by a French artist called Paul Gauguin. Even though his work was never appreciated in his lifetime, nowadays he's one of the most famous post-impressionist painters. Paul Gauguin was born on June 7, 1848, in Paris, France, and died on May 8, 1903, in the Marquesas Islands in French Polynesia. He was a French painter, printmaker, and sculptor who tried to achieve a primitive expression of spiritual and emotional states in his work. The artist is particularly well known for his creative relationship with Vincent van Gogh, as well as for his self-imposed exile in Tahiti. One of his most famous paintings is The Spirit of the Dead Watching, which we will be analyzing today. Hi, my name is Alejandra Villarreal Mondragon, and today I will be doing the analysis of the iconography of this painting. This painting is small, but also very complex. If you look closely, you will find lots of details that might seem strange or even scary for some. In this painting, the first thing you can spot is a lady with brown skin. She appears fully naked, her body position is very tense, her arms and hands are in a position of arrest, and if you look at her face, you can sense shock and concern in her eyes. Some may say that she looks terrified. Below her, there is a white bed sheet, which helps contrast the lady's body. The sheet has some shades that make you look realistic and a little bit wrinkly. Behind the bed, a scary and mysterious figure is leaning on the tube, while looking with piercing eyes at the lady, which may explain why she looks so tense and terrified. The creature or figure is wearing a black coat, and its face looks serious and extremely intense. The pole in which the figure is leaning has some colorful and ancient drawings. The first colors you can spot are blue, red, orange, and if you look closely, even a little bit of green. The pole is also a little bit wider at the bottom and thinner at the top. The purple wall behind it has different lighter shades and even drones, which can look as flowers or even angels. You can also sense texture thanks to the painting strokes the painter used in this part of the magnificent painting. Below the bed, you can spot gold flowers. In this painting, there is a relationship between the creature and the lady, which may explain the world of superstition that the author knows or has heard of before. Hi, my name is Rafaela, and next we're going to proceed with the pre-iconographic analysis of this painting. As said before, The Spirit of the Dead Watching is a very famous painting of Paul Gauguin. This painting represents the post-impressionist era in a very accurate way by rejecting the impressionist idea of the concern about lighting and colors. This is a 116 by 134 centimeters frame painting painted in oil on jute mounted on canvas. Nowadays, this painting is located in Buffalo, New York at the Albright Knox Art Gallery. At first glance, this painting gives a dark color sense and doesn't have much lighting. Shadows are not so present in this painting. You can see just a few of them and in a very light way. On the other hand, texture is expressed by variating the tones of the colors. As for representation, you can see two main figures. One is a woman who is naked and is lying in a what might seem her bed. Her stomach is facing towards the bed. At the back of the painting, you can see another figure. You can assume that it's a person. He is wearing all black and is observing the woman with a lot of intensity and focus. The predominant colors in this painting are purple, yellow, white, black, and tones of brown. At the background, you can see a wall with various tones of purple. Details in white, like lines, dots, and abstract figures. There is also a pinkish color mixed with purple. Some figures in brown and black are also detected. 
In the bed, you can see blue tones with yellow figures that can be some sort of flowers. The upper bed sheet is white, which makes the darker skin color of the woman stand up. Next to the woman, you can see a pink pillow. Hello, my name is Arturo and I'm going to present a phenological analysis. There are a lack of economic success with these paintings. Gagan traveled to Taipei, searching for exotic images that would sell well in Paris. During his journey, he learned about the Tahitian culture and decided to reflect it in a painting with a 13-year-old girl he met in Taipei, who was afraid of the spirit of Pampao, also known as the dead spirits in the Tahitian culture. In the iconological analysis of this painting, we can learn that Gagan reflects the fear of the Tatian woman towards the dead spirits, henceforth the painting's title. This makes this piece very distinctive and unique among Gagan's paintings, since it is very outstanding from the European beliefs and surroundings that Gagan encountered with himself within until 1881. It is believed that the painting's structure was inspired in one of Manet's compositions, L'Olympia, a painting that Gagan considered one of his favorites. As a comparison between the two masterpieces, they are both women laying down, except that they are in opposite positions, while in Gagan's paintings, the figure behind represents the Pampao. In L'Olympia, the figure behind is just Manet's maid. The spirit of the dead watching was presented in Paris during an exposition. The nude of the woman in Gauguin's work caused a lot of controversy at the time. The representation this painting has and the things that Gauguin put behind it made this painting stand out from the rest of this work and the things that he had done before. Thank you. That was all and thank you for your attention.